So for the next question, we have the most underrated movie of all time. Scarface. <laughs> and this one's for you, Mike. I picked Slumdog Millionaire. What is that? <clears throat> it's a movie about some kids from India? Bangladesh, I think yeah, it was. I think so. He was on a I think, uh, pretty much like a millionaire question. You know, you win a million dollars, the question you ask the question. Like who wants to be a millionaire? Yeah, yeah. yeah who yeah. wants to be it was like that, but their version. Okay. And they couldn't believe he knew the answer to every question. So he was pretty much getting tortured in the back of a police station to find out if he would cheat it or somehow. Right. How are you gonna cheat? You don't know the answer. But with every question throughout his life, it related to something in his life significant. Wow. So, so that's how the concept of the movie, that's how he answered the questions by something significant that happened in his life. Religion. Interesting. In depictions of God drama, he is famously holding what in his right hand? I wake up every morning wishing I didn't know the answer to that question. It wasn't for Ram and Allah. We still have a mother. Bye, Narrow. Bye, Lanza. Bye, Lanza. Mm. Ah, computer G, D lock, yeah, Jai? Just won 16,000 rupees. Well done, my friend. For everything. Like, it was one, they asked him, who's on the cover, uh, who's on the face of an American $100 bill? It's Benjamin. It's a true story. Benjamin Frank. And they couldn't, how would you know? And it was a story related in the movie how he ended up finding a $100 bill and read who was on the front. That's how he knew. Everything, like, 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 every like, question like, related to, yeah, yeah, like, everything kids. related to his childhood, which he was pretty much homeless, living on the street with his wow. brother, just traveling on the train, just, bro, it was, a, like I said, it's something I didn't want to see. Be, um, My wife talked me into watching it, and it was a great movie. It made me, put it like this, I sit there and watch it and didn't fall asleep. <laughs> And, it's a long and like I said, it's not a deal, not a but it was real good. Wow. Most underrated. I, like I know it won awards and everything, but like I say, who watches that stuff? Sure. <laughs> not for us. It was a good movie. It was something that probably people here didn't see, but if you watch it, I guarantee you say it was a good movie. I see, three people. So that's why it's underrated. Oh, you didn't see it? Nah, I heard it was good, but I, four uh, people I, didn't see I don't, it. I don't like to go for the hype. Nah, so. So out of five, only three of us at this table seen it. I mean, and it won all kinds of awards. It was a great movie. Believe me. Wow. Truly underrated. All right. So, Rob, your movie choice. Which way is up? I have no clue. That movie is. That I'm, that's great. I have, I have no clue what that movie is. Listen, yeah, me neither. If you seven, don't know five, which, five. no, it's, it's early 80s. Probably like 82, 83, somewhere around there. Movie, it's a Richard Pryor movie. It's great. Yeah. He... You, have you seen Coming to America? How many people love Coming to America? Have you seen uh, Professor, uh, uh, the, 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 the Nutty Professor with Eddie Murphy and the Clumps, mm -hmm. how he played different parts? Richard Flyer played three different parts in this movie. And it was hilarious. And it is hilarious. He played a guy named Leroy, he played Leroy's father, Rufus, and he played, <laughs> he played his own father. And he Yeah, the nigga gonna be famous, all right. Gonna be the first one to ever see his own funeral on TV. Let me say that, Pop. Me, what I said, nigga. You got a death wish. What harm can it be to have my picture in the paper? That ain't none of your concern. It's twins, the Mexicans, and white folk. Calm down, Daddy. Leroy didn't mean any harm. Bitch, get out of my face. Shit, you don't know what the fuck you talking about. And I'll tell you another thing. Somebody stole my piece of chicken. I didn't take your chicken, Pop. And I hope you choke on the goddamn bone. I sure hope our kids don't grow up to be like him. I heard you. I heard both of you. Heard what you said, huh? About what you think. Nigga, you got to get some pussy before you can have some kids. 
Shit, I'm knocking the bottom out of mine. Ain't no mama. <laughs> he played a preacher. Damage. Play, play the preaching. Wow. And basically, the, 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 the way the story goes is, you know, they're um, they work in the fields in like California or something like that, picking fruit or something. Well, he ended up getting kicked out that way because he started off right. with Chavez with the protests oh, okay, right, the farm. Right, right, right. right. So it was in this yeah. Cali. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they were up in like Stockton, up, up north in Cali. Yeah, yeah. And he, and it was, it was. Picking fruit, basically. Yeah, him and his family was picking fruit. They was poor folks, basically. Yeah. But he was black in the movie. Or? Yeah, he yeah, was black. It was a black family. Yeah. Oh, he was yeah. black, yeah. yeah. But it's it's just a funny ass movie, man. Yeah. It's a funny ass. Yeah. Movie. No, I agree. And I would recommend. If you don't know, it, see it. Definitely, I'm sure it might be on Netflix. Which I mean, way is uh, something? It's funny. Richard Pryor, and it it's uh it's it's one of the movies to me. It's, it was before its time. I was young when this shit came out, but I saw it later on in life. So a friend of mine or his father introduced us to it. And that's you know it's one of the, my funniest movies I've ever seen in my yeah, life. It's funny, man. I can go home and watch it every single night. Uh, <laughs> that's good. So for the last question, uh, the most underrated video game of all time is for you, B. <laughs> like we didn't know any of the movies that y'all fucking watched. So uh, <laughs> my book game is probably same thing. It's uh, Scarface. <laughs> <laughs> Barkley shut up in jail. It's probably it's like a mixture between NBA Jam and like Arch Rivals. Knockout Kings because it was one of the first games I seen that not only focused on on one boxer, it uh it, it gave different weight classes and they had no they had no generated 
created characters. Everybody in there was a real boxer, and I believe everybody on that original Knockout Kings, it was on the first PlayStation platform. Right. Everybody on there should have been a Hall of Famer. I mean, they had they had guys, they had the obvious, you know, Ali and, and Ford, 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 um, Frazier. Yeah, yeah, uh, De La Hoya, Hagler, right. Hearns, those type guys. But then they had lesser known guys that were still just as great, you know, Alexis Arguello. Yeah. She they had uh Aaron Pryor. Right. You know what I mean? Woo. They they had they had a, James Tony. I mean, they even had like mid card people where where like they were getting to that point in their career and some of them kinda didn't actually get there, but at the time you were thinking that they probably would, you know, David Tua. Yeah. You know, some of them you know what I mean? They had a lot, a lot of people from all different areas. I mean they had Archie Moore. Yeah. You know, Jack Dempsey. Yeah. I mean people that Rocky Marciano, they had a yeah. hell of a yeah. roster. Yeah. All from all different yeah. areas. All yeah. different yeah. areas. Yeah. It was a great game. I mean it's like a good game. Right? It's something, <laughs> it's something, a, it's a baseball game? Nah, it's a boxing, boxing game. game. Yeah. I'm I'm just just <laughs> you <laughs> checking the drum? Yeah, That's so fast. That's what it does something. Yeah, yeah. It uh I think they even had Butterbean in that first game. Yeah, I, I, I mean, did. So they yeah, did. And, uh, super heavy. I think I think I played that well, game well, like every night. Right? The the very first PlayStation, the oh, great right. one with the, the yeah, circle front and you gotta yeah. open up for the C D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the very first PlayStation. I, I think that was Unfortunately, I think that was the best one, and they, they still try to make uh yeah, knockout. Yeah. King. They they changed the name to Fight Night, and they still try to make them every now and then. Oh, but, so that was Fight Night. Um, oh, yeah, they changed the Fight Night. Well, yeah, yeah so that they, was they the knockout came from, from the first one, 2001, 02, and then they changed it in 03 to Fight Night. Oh, that's. And they, they they made probably about in these last 15 years, they made like four or five Fight Nights. Yeah. And uh first. Yeah, but nothing can go back to that that original Knockout Kings. That was and I mean it, you also that was the first time I I thought well you get to create your player and almost your whole career you, you get in the fight Hall of Famers. Like, you know, you win the title, when you win the title, they have a little entrance, you get to yeah. walk down the aisle. That was the first time I seen that anyway. Right. I mean it was that was pretty dope for me, man. Yeah, you trying to make hot <laughs> you wanna go see it. Yeah. yeah. Find that game. <laughs> All right, so it's so the last question. So it's the end of the round table. But this is Darius. This is B. This is Rob. This is Mike. Yeah, yeah. Let us know all your underrated in anything: football, baseball, basketball, rappers, movies, video games, all that. I'm your host, Aylin, and it's the end of the round table. Peace. peace.